Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Sidetrack here, bringing you our next episode in our Direwolf 20s Let's Play series. Um, I am down here in my hole. Uh, I have decided that uh, I really need to just come around and explore, and really I just wanted to use my new hammer and my new pick. Um, and uh, I just wanted to show you, because if you weren't quite convinced that this is the coolest hammer ever, because I only showed you like two seconds of use, I just wanted to prove a point. Look how fast this mines. It's ridiculous. Um, ooh, and redstone. Unfortunately, my inventory is all full because I've been mining for quite a while. Um, let's see, what can I throw away? <laughs> Need that gold. Um, I'd like that creeper essence bush, but you know what? I can stick that here for now. And do I need it? What else do I need? Uh, I want to keep that. And let's just go throw these here too. And that way they'll grow. I can pick up this. I can grab the redstone. Let's blast a hole in the rest of this redstone here. And switch over, pick that. Oh, and it got really dark. <laughs> and now I can't see. Um, well, I'm also out of torches, so what a great time to go back to the surface. Uh, one of the things that you'll notice, if, I don't know if I've told you about this or not, um, we've got these red X's on the floor. If you hit F7, it will cycle on and off the display of uh, showing where monsters spawn, uh, which is really useful um, because, uh, especially when I'm recording, I turn the brightness settings way up um, and I actually bumped them up a bit because I noticed some of my videos were a little darker than I'd like them to be in certain places, especially in the nether. Um, and so it seems really bright everywhere I go. I mean, even at nighttime, look how bright it is. This is, well, it looks bright to me. Um, you may not be able to see it on the video because it looks like my video recording software is for some reason darker than it usually is. Uh, so yeah. Um, so let's drop off some of this stuff. Um, auto sort, throw the iron and the gold and the copper and the tin. I don't have it sorting uh, automatically shiny ingots yet. I'm just gonna go ahead and drop them in here because uh, they can be handled by our uh, Tinker's Construct smelteries. Um, so yeah, did I miss anything? Uh, no. Uh, got some more marble, which will be cool, and we want to expand our house. And, um, yeah. So, this episode. Um, wow, I'm gonna have to make a whole chest full of cobblestone. Um, let's see, gravel goes over here. And we need to work on an auto-sorting system. <laughs> so this episode, um, I wanted to do a couple things. Um, well, really, I want to start working toward um, doing a lot of, if I can sort and talk all at the same time, that would be wonderful. Ooh, getting some lots of uranium and, uh, okay, focus, focus, sidetrack, focus. <laughs> Stop getting sidetracked. Okay, so today what I want to do is start getting set up for um, the future. What I really need to do is start working on uh, kind of teching up, um, getting things, you know, I really like the smell trees, but I'd really like to be able to automatically take things, um, you know, from a central chest and transport them all around my house wherever they want to go, really an automatic sorting system. And uh, I used to use the thermal expansion item ducts, ducts, those were great and very simple to set up, um, fairly inexpensive. But they're not here anymore. So uh, we could do a whole system with our transfer pipes from extra utilities. Wouldn't be too bad. Um, a little on the slow side, uh, which you know we can upgrade them definitely. But I'm not sure I really want to use them. I'm not. I'm not the. It's not like I'm not a fan. But there are other really cool options. Uh, eventually, what I would like to do. Let's get rid of this. Uh, what I would like to do is. What are they? They're item conduits um, from Ender IO. These are really cool. Actually, I'm, I'm the more I see of Ender IO, the more I'm really liking a lot of things that you see, um, or a lot of things that I've seen, and I'll hopefully be able to show you guys uh, in a couple episodes. Um, but the problem with Ender IO item conduits is they require pulsating iron nuggets, which require Ender pearls, and I never have any luck killing Endermen. It's not like I, they kill me. They always just seem to teleport away right as I'm about to strike the killing blow. 
Uh, I know you can wear a pumpkin head, and that seems to work, but whenever I wear a pumpkin head, I can never see the freaking Endermen. <laughs> so there is um, something that I'd really like to do, and I've been kind of playing around with it a little bit, um, is uh, capturing some Endermen. And you saw what I had typed in here a second ago. Um, capturing an Enderman and sticking them in an auto spawner. And that will automatically spawn Endermen that we can then kill. Now, there are several interesting ways we can kill them. And one of the ways that I really like is right in front of us, which lets us use more Tinker's Construct, which I'm always a fan of. Um, so basically, the, the gist of it is you kind of suspend an item spawner above uh, a rather large uh, smeltery, and then you drop the Endermen into the smeltery, where they promptly melt away and die, leaving... Their Ender Pearl drops, which you can suck up in a variety of ways, and more importantly, or and in addition to that, they also leave Resonant Ender, which you can then use for all variety of mostly thermal expansion things come to mind. Um, so that is what I would like to work toward, and we're not going to be able to do it this episode. We'll probably be working on getting all the supplies for the next several episodes, uh, because what we're going to need for our item spawner are some emeralds, some nether wart and magma cream. Those are the hard things. Sugar is easy. Plastic sheets, we're going to have to find some rubber trees, but that's fairly simple. Um, and, you know, we're going to have to get some, uh, yeah, plastic sheets. <laughs> Item fart. For some reason, I was thinking this was wool, and I was like, Duh, this doesn't require wool. And then I realized it was colored stone. So we need to get an item spawner. But then in order to use the item spawner, we need a couple more things. We need power. So we need to supply it with power. And we need to supply it with a mob essence, which essentially means we need to have a mob farm. So we have a little bit of, of work to do. Uh, one of the first things I want to do um, is probably run off to the nether so we can use our awesome new sword. So I will head to the nether, and I'll meet you guys there. All right, here in the wonderful nether with our eerie-sounding portal and pigmen all around me. So, if we take a look at the map, and I've noticed that Journey Map has started working. I'm not sure why it wasn't working before, but it's working now, so which is awesome. Um, and this is kind of where I've explored. I kind of went all over here, down over here, and I have not yet found another fortress. So, I think I'm going to head off in this general direction, kind of down here, and see what I can dig up. Um, I am going to uh, leave my camera running so that if I get into any crazy fights I can cut on, but I'm going to, you know, edit this part out. So, um, wish me luck and hope I don't die. <laughs> well, let's go ahead and just clear a path through here and see what we do. Um, I love this thing. The only thing I gotta make <gasps> Shit. That was retarded. The all, I was just going to say, the only thing I've got to worry about is not falling in a hole. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> God, I'm an idiot. Well, that was fun. And back we go. Man, I can't believe I did that. That was just foolish. Um, but uh, it happened. I suppose it happens to everybody. Um... I'm going to bring some of these just in case I need to block off a little bit of lava um, from my stuff. I don't think I fell in lava, but I guess we'll find out. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Jeez. I, the thing that gets me the most is I was just about to say, you know, the only thing I have to worry about is falling in a hole. And look what was right here. A hole. Okay, well, uh, I am going to turn into something that can fly to get down there. Let's turn into a fire bat. Um, now, the downside is bats have three health, which could be really, really dangerous. Especially if there's anything, oh, like a wisp. Um, this might be really bad. Okay, well, that's there, and I can't see. So let's see how this goes. Let's get my stuff. And get the F out of here. So we're back here. Let's block off our hole. And turn back into ourselves. 
equip our stuff. And good, I didn't lose anything. Oh boy, it's one of these heat scar spiders again. Let's see if I can get down here without getting killed. Or rather, getting... Ah, uh, let's see. You know what? Geronimo! Die, spiders! Oh god. Okay, oh Jesus. <laughs> god, they jump! Whew! Okay, eat some food. That was a little closer than I wanted it to be. I think I took a little more fall damage. Hey, Mr. Pigman, don't mind me. I am not doing anything to hurt you. Um, all right, where'd that string go? Did I grab it all? Cool. Ooh, look at all that flame string. Flame string's pretty cool. You can make some neat bows out of it. Um, but uh, I could have sworn I saw a magma cream around here, just like hopping around. Not a magma cream. A magma spawn slime. Whatever they're called. Well, where'd he go? Oh well, I lost him. But at least we got some, you know, fighting action going on. I almost died again, which is always great fun. <laughs> well, back to your regular schedule program. <laughs> All right, I have a confession to make. I am, I'm getting tired of running around here and not finding anything. So uh, I, I'm, I'm going to, you know, become a, a something. Um, a, a something, don't, don't mind me. Um, dum -da dum -da dum don't, you know, not, nothing's going on here. Um, although my, my health does drop to three hearts, so I think that's kind of a fair trade-off in the nether. I mean, pretty much, you get smacked by something, you die. Um, I just have to make sure I avoid everything. Anyway, um, back to looking for stuff. Ooh, there's some cobalt. Ooh, where'd it go? I just spun around. There we go. Grab this cobalt, and, um, and then it'll be... Back to looking for. Okay, good. Back to looking for. Nether. Whew, that was close. <laughs> Back to looking for nether um, doohickeys. Yep, fortresses. Dun 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 dun! Look what we found! It only took me about a million years of going around and around and around and around. Look at my map even bugged out in a couple places. That's weird. Um. So, yeah, ooh, I see a blaze. I probably ought to close this map before. So, yeah, I'm only, like, a thousand meters away from my house. Ow, bat. Leave me alone, bat. <laughs> All right. Um, so, um, the blaze will be nice. I wonder if there's a spawner up there. Uh, that'll be good. Um, let's see. Ooh, what was that? Is there a... Something's blowing up. I don't know what weird. Alright, so let's get on up here. Um, I definitely hear blazes. Alright, so I'm gonna dig my way up to the top and then I'll cut back when I'm back. Alright, here we are. No spawner, just a blaze. How really dumb. <laughs> well, that was quick. A one-shot death. Uh, let's drop some of this stuff off. What don't I need? Um, I'll throw out the nether rack. Alright. And what are these? Are these... Uh, we'll see what they are. No, we don't care about seeds. I'd rather have the nether rack. Although I'm going to probably end up throwing that away soon anyway. Alright, so, what do we find? What do we... Oh, I hear... There, well that worked. Whoa, please. Let's go over here. Eat some food. Another nasty place. Ooh, necrotic bone. I definitely want that. Uh, like I said, probably end up throwing the nether rack away anyway. Uh, you, there we go. Necrotic bone. Thank you. Yes, I would. Okay, I'm not gonna make a. Ah, that was dumb. Okay. Why don't you just come around the corner? Come over here. Come on, little guy. Come here, Mr. Blaze. Like the. Bye. Need a blaze spawner. Okay, these guys are not that interesting. Um, ooh, stay away from that, because I don't have bows and arrows. All right, well I'm gonna see if I can find my way back down, because there really wasn't much up here. So let's go back over here. Uh, don't want that. Head back down. 
All right. You know, I've got a hair in my mouth. It's not quite moving the way I want it to. <laughs> See if that fixed it. Um. Oh, ooh. Um. Game freezing. <laughs> Yeah, I think I need to allocate a little bit more RAM to my server. Um, because with all the, the loading of new uh, chunks as I'm in this area, it's just not... Hello, little imp. Um, ooh, and another... Ooh, two more skeletons. Whoa. Don't attack me. Thank you. That was interesting. <laughs> okay. These gas need to die. Do not like gas. Ooh, the blaze spawner. Just what I wanted. Okay. I'm gonna have to eat some more to regen some health. Alright. So. Um, gas are out of the way for now. Let's do this. Uh, that's probably too low. Uh, oh jeez. And we're right underneath a wasp nest. Just what I always wanted. Okay. Let's make a little bit of a retreat for now. Okay. You know what? That's not the best place for a um, uh, spawner that we want. But we got some blaze powder. Um, well, we got some... Got two necrotic bones, which I'm actually pretty excited about. Um, and we got ooh, some more ardite and cobalt. Ooh. Hear that noise? That is... Uh, I don't even remember what it's called. It's a specter of sorts. Um, and they kind of... They're these little black, like, smokies things that run around after you and make creepy noises and creep me out. Um, Alright, well, we got a blaze rod. And we'll have to come back when, you know, or maybe find a... Ooh, what's in here? A diamond! Ooh, I'll take that. I don't know. Do I want a saddle? What can I do with a saddle? I don't think much. It's here. Ooh, and just what we were looking for. Another wart. Um, make sure none of this is wither wart, because that stuff is annoying. Um, I would grab the dusk berries, but I do not have any inventory space. Alright. So, um, we got most of what we want. I still need to find a magma, um, magma slime, to get some magma cream. But, you know, I think I can make it with... I can. All right. So we are actually pretty good. Um, so I'm going to head on back. And before I die and lose all this stuff, who grab some more nether wart. Um, and I already have some soul sand that I picked up last time. So we'll grow some nether wart and have ourselves a little nether wart farm. Let's check out that chest. Um, so let's grab this, check out the chest, and then I will head back. I don't think this is the chest I've already seen. No, it can't be. Horse armor, eh, flint and steel, gold would be nice, but let's go ahead and switch out the gold for that. Um, all right, so, um, okay, one more chest. <laughs> um, what's in this chest? And then we are really heading back because we're at a dead end. Uh, a little bit more gold. I don't know if that was worth the run, but okay. Meet you guys back at home. And what do I spy with my little eye? Because it would be nice not to have to use that. Uh, let's see. One more. Come here, little guy. Alright. Death to the magmas! Come on, somebody needs to drop a magma cream. You know you wanna. Stop dropping seeds. And tell a creeper. Oop. You know, I don't think anybody... Oh, there's one. Okay. Oh, we got two. Excellent. Uh, we'll throw that away. Cool. Okay. Well, I'm going to go track down this last magma slime and uh, meet you guys back at home. All right. Back at home after our wonderfully eventful journey. So, uh, yeah. 
I hate exploring the. I mean, I, I like exploring the Nether in one way, but I hate it when I'm looking for another fortress and can't find it. So, <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, heck! What do we need to do? You know what? I think we're gonna stash some of this right here, and then we are going to make ourselves a. Actually, we're gonna make a couple of them. A better barrel. Better barrels from Java, Jabba, are great. Uh, I mean, they're they're just wonderful. Um, ooh, actually, you know what? What is this doing in here? Oh, I know why. Haha. <laughs> um, let's make four chests at once, because that is just awesome. Alrighty. So we, um, the better barrels just work just like uh, barrels from um, factorization, if you've ever used those before. Stick one there, one there, one here, and one there. Um, is that going to allow? Nope, nobody can spawn. Cool. All right, and the way they work is, oh, look, I already had, oh, well. Uh, chests in here. Um, you can basically right click and hold right click and it will throw everything you have of that item right into the barrel. Now barrels will hold 64 stacks of an item by default um, and that's just awesome. We'll throw that in here. Whoops. And we will throw that in there. Another rack in here. And Sure, why not? Um, maybe not the most beautiful thing in the world, but it get all got all that stuff out of my inventory. Uh, we got quite a haul of glowstone, which is great. Um, we've got some more ardite and a lot of cop uh, cobalt, which would be wonderful. Put the nether ward over here, magma cream in here, just for safekeeping, along with the blaze. And got two ghast tears. Actually, you know what? Let's put the ghast tears over here in my monster drop box necrotic bones i think i'm going to use those uh, at least i'm going to use one of them i've got to look up what the exact recipe is for what i want to do with it go down there um because the necrotic necrotic bones can be used for several things um what i'm thinking of right now is Right here, um, a, uh, a health steal essentially, and it says heals one heart per bone, which is pretty cool. So we've got one necrotic bone. I'm not sure if it's going to use an entire enchant for just for one bone, um, but we will find out. So yes, it does. It uses an entire modifier for one bone, which is okay because it gives us life steal which is pretty amazingly sweet. All right, let's actually see if we can throw any more quartz on our sword. Getting towards the end of it. I don't know if we'll be able to or not. Uh, how much quartz? Oh, we're at max. And yep, that's it. So um, our sword now does um, doo -doo 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 -doo, eight hearts of damage, which is great. Um, we don't even have any of the jagged bonus on there because it's way, way, way high in durability. Um, so pretty cool. I'm actually surprised it's so high on durability after all that fighting I've done. Um, but, you know, who might have complained? All right, throw this quartz in here, that quartz in here. So we've got, um, a lot of the pieces we need for our auto spawner. Um, <laughs> not an auto smelting pickaxe we want an auto spawner so we just need some emerald now um but uh well i think i'll find the emerald later um because i want to do some more infrastructure so what i'm thinking right now is in order to use this auto spawner we're going to need some power and we're not going to need a ton of power but i also do want to kind of open up some new mods that i haven't you know worked with Actually, I haven't worked with in a while. Um, what I really want to do is start working with uh, industrial craft. I know, industrial craft. Pretty cool. 
<laughs> or pretty scary, depending on who you are. Um, so there are a bunch of cool things in industrial craft. And one of the first things, you know, it's it's a huge mod. It's it's crazy. Um, you know, there range uh, everything in this mod ranges from you know you can uh, breed crops um, all the way to make nuclear reactors, um, you know, fuel rods and craziness like that. Um, but where we have to start is um, we need some basic tools because everything that you know you craft. Let's think of something we're actually going to craft here. Um, maybe a basic solar um, solar generator or a regular old generator. Uh, we are going to need these iron plates or plates of various types. In order to get plates, you need to have a forge hammer or you need to have a metal former. But the metal former was a little advanced for us. We don't have the power and we don't have the, the plates. So we're going to have to make ourselves a forge hammer, which is pretty easy. It's just some iron and some sticks. So... Let's grab ourselves some wood, grab ourselves some iron, um, make enough, and get ourselves, oh, of course, I had wood in here already, oh well. So sticks and stones may break my bones, but forge hammers will hit me on the head. Yeah. <laughs> um, and the first thing we're going to probably want to work toward is a power system. So let's get rid of all of this stuff and just look for a generator. A generator from industrial craft looks like this guy. Uh, what the generator does is it will um, burn coal or any, you know, solid fuel and it will produce power. It produces a decent amount of power, 10 um, EU per tick. EU is um, the industrial craft unit of power. Um, it's, you know, kind of somewhere in between redstone flux and uh, Minecraft jewels in terms of potency. Um, so we need to make some industrial plates um, for our iron furnace. Uh, there are a couple different ways that, you know, we can, we can make it. Um, I'm going to have to make myself a furnace and then lots of iron plates. So let's grab some materials. Um, just go ahead and grab all of those. Grab ourselves a stack of cobble. And we'll make ourselves several furnaces because you never know when you might want them. And how many of these do we want? Eh. I'm sure we'll use them at some point. And one of the things that you'll notice is the Forge Hammer takes some durability damage each time you use it. It says right now it's got 51 uses left, um, which is fine. Uh, down here, I think. What am I forgetting? I feel like I'm... No, not forgetting anything. All right, got ourselves an Iron Furnace. And the generator is going to need an Iron Furnace. Um, basic, uh, excuse me, Iron Plates and an RE Battery. The RE Battery is going to need some tin. And the tin we're going to have to pound out twice um, because we need item casings, which is just a tin plate that you pound on again. So let's grab some tin. Oh, and you know, we're going to need some rubber. So maybe we ought to take a brief moment and go find some rubber trees. Um, well, let's go ahead and throw all this stuff in here. So we're almost get to it. Okay, so tin... Tin, 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 pound out the tin. Um, we are going to need how many total tin? We're just going to make one generator for now. We're going to need four tin here, and then, oh yeah, we're going to have to make ourselves some wire cutters. Another tin right there. So, five tin, I think that should do it. Let's pound out. Oh, oh that's right. Eh, we'll make ourselves two batteries. Why not? Um... What else are we doing with this tin? And the other thing we're going to have to make ourselves, and I think it's just... No. Um, are some wire cutters. Oop, maybe it's just plural, singular. A cutter. Oh, iron plates. Well, it's a good thing we made those iron plates, huh? Um, I am no expert with industrial craft. So if I derp a lot, 
Eh, it's okay. You'll forgive me, right? Okay. Got some tin wires. And now what we're going to need to do in order to actually make our um, furnace is we are going to need to get some rubber. And there are two types of rubber. There's industrial craft rubber and there is mine factory loaded rubber. And either one of them works perfectly fine in here. So we will see what we can go find. Um, I will start kind of wandering off. I know, actually, let's see. I think I saw some somewhere over here, maybe? Now that my map has changed, I, I don't remember. Um, so let's go run off that way. And one of the greatest things, watch me fall in a hole. Whee! <laughs> oh, I love this sword. I love the, uh, the long sword from... Uh, Tinker's Construct. Um, hello, Mr. Cow. You're going to get in my belly later. Although, not anytime soon, because I have all these uh, meat ingots. Oh, these are useful. Pumpkins. Um, let's go and grab a couple pumpkins, because if I don't, I will totally forget that they're over here. Although, what's going to end up happening is I'm going to totally forget that they're in my inventory, kind of like that cactus. Oop. Um, that... Uh, that I, I recently realized that I had in my my inventory, actually, when I went to make my sword. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. I uh, thought I was going to have to go get some cactus, and then I saw some in a chest, and I'm rambling, and I'm sure you don't care. Um, ooh, look, a half a hill! <laughs> um, are those... Those might be the trees I'm looking for. They're, they might be the trees I'm looking for. Yes. Um, and they might not be, so I guess we'll find out. Um, all right. Whatever it was, I had found a whole, like, forest of industrial craft trees. Um, rubber trees, that is. Oh, creepiness. A hobgoblin. Hello, Mr. Hobgoblin. Um, yes, no, yes, no, wait, these are, nope, okay, these are rubber trees. Okay, cool. So, uh, rubber trees from industrial craft are um, a little interesting. Um, they basically have this spot right here, and this is for a tree tap. So I'm going to chop some of these down, grab some of the saplings, and bring them back to the base and bone meal them so we can do all this at home. So, ooh, yeah, look at all these. They are all over the place. All right, meet you back in the base. All right, so back at home, we got uh, a couple of rubber tree saplings. I don't know why I threw them in that chest. Um, and get ready to bone meal them. But before we do that, um, we are going to make a tree tap. This is going to be how we're going to extract the rubber from our trees. I'm going to make a couple of them because you go through them actually pretty quickly. Um, you'll notice that I chopped down, um, I think it was about six or seven, it may have been eight tr rubber trees, um, and I got eight saplings out of them. So you get roughly a one, a little bit better than a one-to-one -one ratio of sapling per tree. Um, and I did get some sticky resin uh, from those trees, although not a significant amount from chopping the trees down. Um, sticky resin is what we're going to smelt to turn into rubber. Now, later on down the line, we are going to use an extractor to get even more rubber out. But for now, this is what we've got. Uh, tree tap. Okay, so we got to figure out a good place to stick these. Um, I think I'm just going to put them over here. Actually, put them right here for now. Uh, no particular reason to put them anywhere in one place. Um, I like to leave a little bit of extra space between my rubber trees. Um, just so I can get a good view of what all is going on near them. You know, I really need to clear out some of this junk. I really don't like having all this grass around here, but I'm also a little too lazy to do anything about all of it. <laughs> um, so a little bit of bone meal, a little bit of bone meal, a little bit of bone meal. Is this going to be... Nope. Wow, these are actually coming up really quick. I'm not used to things sprouting so fast. Nope. And of course, I hit the grass. That was... I was just complaining about having too much leaf litter on the ground, and what do I do? Plant more grass. Okay, so, uh, then we're going to want to clear off some of these leaves. Let me run inside and grab my sickle and bear back. Alright, so the sickle clears off leaves very, very quickly. Um, which is awesome. And it also drops some saplings as it goes. 
All right, and really all I care about doing is just exposing just enough of the tree so that I can see whether or not um, it's got these little taps on it. Okay, so um, these little orange spots are where you get rubber from. So you right click it with the tree tap and presto changeo, we got some sticky resin. I think we started with six, so we got three out of that one. And you'll see that the tree tap kind of, I mean, it, there's a little bit of an outline of it there. You don't want to use the tree tap on it again because there's a chance that it will not um, respawn. Let me back up. So this tree tap will respawn after a period of time. Um, it will turn back orange and you can tap it again. However, if you, you know, tree tap it multiple times without letting it respawn, pick up these saplings, um, there is a good possibility that it will not ever respawn and then you're stuck without it and you'll have to plant yourself a new tree. Um, all right, so get that one, get a good view on this side. Oop, missed that. Um, get a good view over here. And sometimes you'll have a tree that will spawn without any tree taps on it, and usually those I just cut down. Um, although I give it a little while because sometimes they show up later. All right, so um, pretty cool. We've got enough rubber to get ourselves working. And you will see that I tapped, oh, what was it, like five or six um, sapling or uh, rubber tap, whatever they are. <laughs> yeah, um, there's a technical name for it, I'm sure. Um, and I've already used about half of that tree tap, so you go through a lot of them, especially if you're trying to get a lot of rubber. Okay, so let's cook up some of this. Uh, at some point, we are going to want to make a better... Um, you know, we're going to want to make an extractor. But for now, this is what we've got. All right, there's one. And actually, that can get us started. So we're going to make some tin, make the other one. We'll make both of the batteries I want to make at the same time. Um, two. We need a little bit of redstone in the middle. And those tin item casings along the edge. Two batteries. Excellent. So we take our batteries. We take our, where did they go? Uh, furnace. We take three, and presto changeo, we've got ourselves a generator, and we got an achievement. Not that I really pay attention to that in Minecraft. <laughs> um, all right, so I kind of want to just set it, this up somewhere central. I think I'm just going to put it over here. Why not? Um, let's put our generator up top. Maybe? No, we'll put it, put it down below. Okay, so we've got a generator. You throw a little bit of coal in here, and it starts to generate power. Got a nice little fiery um, whatever. And we'll find that very quickly it's going to fill up its buffer. And it's going to kind of, um, you know, have nowhere to put it because we don't have anything to use with it. Okay, so I just looked at the time and I'm going way over what I'd like to go. Um, so we're pushing 40, minute, 40 minutes. Um, so next episode we will keep working on uh, this uh, mob spawner. Um, and we'll play more with industrial craft, and um, yeah, we'll have a lot of fun. Well, I will. <laughs> Hopefully you will too. Uh, so until next time, this is Sidetrack signing off. Have a great day, folks.